so let me delete this VDC so that you can also know that creation and deletion is also possible and you can also have understanding how these things work let's say delete VDC hmm delete okay config t no VDC question mark I will delete this one DC to N7K1 I am going to delete it okay so whatever changes whatever configuration whatever routing protocols spanning tree protocol or uh, configuration you have done in that VDC will be deleted all of the resources will become part of the default VDC that is this one if 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 I'm doing it and it is a very big step you cannot take it just by mistake you cannot say that sorry I've made this mistake I will not do it again because data centers have been designed for mission critical servers and these switches are part of those environment you cannot make these mistakes if you are deleting it it means you are deleting and there is no way to recover from here okay let's delete it it says deleting this VDC will remove its config continue deleting VDC yes or no by default is no if you hit enter it will not delete it let's say yes it is deleting it and there is no way to recover it whatever configuration QoS multicasting BPD guard port fast whatever is there that will be deleted it will be brand new and all those uh, physical ports now will become part of it okay it says VDC 4 is now offline okay let's check it out show VDC okay there is no VDC number 4 okay all of the ports have become part of main VDC let's see show VDC membership okay actually you know what this model is doing it is uh, moving those ports into a uh, kind of VDC 0 means uh, now I need to separately move these ports into any VDC I want to move okay now let's learn how to move these ports you can see that 4 slash 24 is not part of any VDC right now if I do show run interface Ethernet 4 slash 24 see it doesn't let me do it so I would have to assign it let me go to VDC number 1 DC 1 and 7k I want to move ports into and 7k 3 I'll go into it I'll say allocate allocate interface Ethernet 4 slash 33 was this the port number we were trying to move C 4 slash 23 I will tell you uh, one more thing you note down this thing okay port number 21 22 23 24 you will notice one very surprising thing 23 okay okay it says entire port group is not present in the command actually there are some modules which have port grouping okay so you need to understand those port grouping before taking this action and this is a very serious command because you are trying to move port number 4 slash 23 which is a part of uh, a group so your this action will move other ports as well into this VDC Nexus 7k3 you need to understand this thing so port number 24 or 22 we don't know which group which group is this a part of okay so let's see let's hit enter 
now it has moved other ports as well into this N7K3 let's check it out show VDC N7K okay sorry show VDC membership I had moved 4 slash 23 into this one you see this thing it has also moved port number 24 so there is a group of two ports so if I had moved 4 slash 24 it would have also moved 4 slash 23 so if this port had some mission critical server connected and which you were not aware of and if you were trying to move this port into uh, this v VDC that would have you know that would have given a great negative impact to your environment because moving a port basically removes the configuration from that VDC where it is currently residing and then uh, move as a blank port okay so that server connectivity is down so friends this is very critical thing that you need to remember understand port grouping Act let's check what kind of module is it it's a F series card let's check show module okay this is F series you see F132 XP15 so you need to know about the grouping of these modules what kind of groups these have before moving the port okay generally you will get a message but don't rely on the message and this M series card 132 XP-12 L it has grouping of four ports so if you move one port it will move four ports but what are those four ports okay are these like in sequence are these odd, odd, odd numbers or even numbers what are those ports so let's check it out show VDC membership okay module number three is M series okay okay I want to move port number 3 slash 9 of VDC 1 into VDC 3 okay port number 3 slash 9 which is a part of M series card so VDC DC 1 I need to go into that VDC wherein I want to move port N7K I want to move it to VDC number 4 this this one VDC number actually number is 3 but name is 4 so don't confuse yourself in that ok allocate interface ethernet 3 slash 9 ok so what it will do it will move other 3 ports as well but what are those ports are these are these uh, like uh, 7, 9, 11, 13 or these are some different ports or these uh, let's see or are these uh, this uh, 3, 5, 7, 9 or 9, 11, 13, 15 because we don't know let's let's see you will be surprised after seeing the result show membership show VDC membership okay you see that port number 9 is not there port number 11 is not there port number 13 15 they've gone so friend that's <laughs> if you if you had some uh, uplinks or downlinks or outers connected on those interfaces you had almost you know brought this company to uh, standstill means anyone I'm not blaming you but we need to be very careful while we make changes so let's do one thing let's write it down 1 3 uh, 5 7 okay these are the odd numbers okay and these are the 
uh, even numbers okay so if you have 18 ports module let, generally these are in 32 or 24 port so if you're trying to move port number 9 then you have to know how many ports are grouped into this module what is the behavior of this module is it four port one three five seven if you were moving port number five it would have moved one three five seven as well and if you if you were trying to move port number 10 it would have moved 10 12 14 16 because this m series card m132 i'm talking about this particular model only it works on odd even okay it doesn't work on sequence but this f series card show module let's see this has grouping of two and it is continuous like if you move port number three then it will move port number four as well okay if you more move port number 17 it will move port number 18 as well and also numbering starts from one it doesn't start from zero so you need to be very sure so uh, this is one of the critical things I wanted to highlight because people generally make mistake and they end up losing their precious time in troubleshooting and recovering from the problem and then they have to answer to management and they don't listen to these kind of mistakes and they don't uh, you know uh, they will not even spare you because these are nexus devices which are highly critical now let's talk about some of the features some of the things which are shared between the VDCs okay when you create three or four VDCs what are the things which will be shared one is power supply obviously that will be shared fan will be shared supervisor engine will be shared fabric modules fan trays system trays uh, CMP that is control management protocol span these things are shared between the VDCs uh, we'll also talk about more uh, more about these features in coming chapters so friends I hope that it's been informative to you and I would like to thank you for viewing have a nice day